Hi, Laura Lee. Come on in. Hi, Mr. Wizard. Hi. I stopped at the drugstore and got the stuff that you wanted. Yeah. Do you have diabetes? Do I have what? Diabetes. No, why? Because the druggist said that you use these to test for diabetes. Well, we're, that's right. That's what they're, they were designed for. But we're going to use them to test some things around the house. How did you know about diabetes? Well, my uncle has it. Yeah? And what does he do about it? Well, he gives himself shots of insulin. Yeah, why? Well, um, well what happens? What, what happens when you have diabetes? Well, you have too much sugar and it ends up in your urine. Right, and that's what these strips are for, to test the urine of diabetes normally. And for glucose bacteria, we're going to put a bunch of these down here. And I have taken the front of this, of this uh, container off and put it over here on this strip. Okay. You can see that over here it starts with yellow. It gets darker and darker, darker green, okay? Okay. So what I'd like you to do uh, is pretend that you're a lab technician or, or even okay. a doctor, and you are going to make some tests. What is the first liquid? Water. Okay, take one of the strips and put it in the water, dip it in the water, and then hold it up alongside these. And what you're trying to do is to compare the color of the top row. See, it says glucose. Yeah. Okay, what's that one? It looks like negative. Negative, yeah. meaning there is no glucose in that sample. That's what's known as a control. Okay. Okay. Now, the chemists who developed this had to be very precise because very often people are testing their urine and they would take a certain amount of, of uh, insulin based on how much glucose there is in their urine. So they had to be very careful. What's this one? Sugar. Okay, try that. Looks like sugar is negative, too. Yeah, because we're testing for glucose, and sugar is sucrose, a different kind of sugar. Okay? okay. So that doesn't work. All right. Put that one out of the way. Here is one that should work. That one. What is that? Corn syrup. Corn syrup. That should certainly have uh, some natural glucose in it, don't you think? Yeah. Well, let's check it. Looks like a green. Yeah, certainly yeah. on the green side. Yeah. Now, I should, should warn you that the instructions that come with this say that you should wait for two minutes. Yeah. And evidently to make sure that the chemical reaction is complete. So it's certainly got glucose in, right? Right. But you can't tell quite how much until we've let it set for a side. So put it off to the side over there, and we'll check it, check it later. Because now I have some sort of puzzles for you. Okay. I don't... I don't think this would have any sugar in Why it. Why not? Well, the taste of it's so sour. So, so sour. Okay, squeeze a little of the lemon juice on it, then hold it up. Uh huh. Wow. Not yellow, right? No. That's now, there's some of the other materials in it, maybe will change the color a little bit. So it may not be quite green, but it certainly is not yellow, right? Right. So definitely it has glucose in it. Yeah. That seems strange, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. That something as sour as a lemon would have a natural sugar in it. How about uh, this one? Well, naturally it would if the lemon does. Yeah, if the lemon does, you think you suspect yeah. the uh, tomato will try it. In fact, when people raise tomatoes in their garden and they eat them, they say, oh, they taste so sweet. And you can see why. Yeah. Because there's a lot of glucose in it. Yeah. It's okay. green. Yeah. Now, careful, I have a tricky one for you. Here is a soft drink, and here are some of the samples of it. And it's regular soft drink. Okay. It could have sugar in it, couldn't it? Yeah. Which it wouldn't, then it wouldn't test. If it has glucose in, or corn syrup, or something like that, then it would. So right. go ahead and test it, see what it... Yeah, it has glucose in yeah. it. It has glucose in it. Yeah. In fact, I have underlined the important ingredients on the back here. See what it says? Re slowly now, not loud, what does it say? High fructose. Fructose, right. That's corn. a form of, of, uh, great, of, of sugar, go ahead. And what else? Corn syrup. And or sugar. And or sugar. Right. So did this have any sugar in it? Maybe, Maybe. but it had enough corn syrup to right. show that it had a glucose. Yeah. Okay, now here comes diet soft drink. What do you suspect? Well, if it's diet, 
It shouldn't have any kind of sugar in it. Right. Try it. See if it does. At least have glucose in it. No, it looks negative. 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 All right. Okay. Now, you remember that first one that we tried over there that was supposed to wait for two minutes? Yeah. That was the corn. Okay. Pull it over and now hold it up. It got darker. Yes, it's the darkest one of all, and it should because obviously it's pure glucose. Right. Well, you did a very good job. You'd make a good lab technician or a doctor because you were able to decide what around the house had glucose in it. And why don't you continue your investigation? Take these home and check the rest of the stuff around the house. Thank you. You're welcome.